your smartphone, by the way? I'm always losing this stupid phone. Ugh. Hi, guys. So I don't know if you could tell, but it's actually daytime. It is morning time. Is 11 a.m. still considered morning? Because I don't feel like 11 is morning time. So today I'm going to film a, is it a get ready with me or is it a play with makeup with me? I don't know yet but we're gonna play with makeup so um i don't know if you watched any of my hauls um but this bag right here contains the makeup that i was supposed to do videos on and i never did it and i barely touched any of these i think i only messed with one two products that's like it but let's go ahead and get started so this is gonna be like almost a whole face of first impressions so i already put on my primer and my well my face primer and my eye primer so I'm going to go ahead and go in with the foundation. Now there's two foundations. They're both L'Oreal. This is the Infallible Pro Matte and the Infallible Total Coverage. I don't know which one is my shade right now. Let's see. Would this be my shade? I don't believe so. This one looks a little bit... Uh, that's like... No, this one would not be my shade. So I'm gonna go in with the uh, Infallible Pro Matte. I actually used this before. I believe this might be my third or fourth bottle of this. I really like it. Uh, I just haven't worn it because of obviously season changes and stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and slap this on. I know this may look weird right now, but my face is always lighter than the rest of my body during the summer like always and I can't do anything about it well actually no I can I mean I should just put my whole face in the sun or something I'm not sure so should I just talk about random stuff like I've never done like a well I've done a get ready with me before but that was like one of my first ever videos but that was like voiceover and i don't know and i call it a get pretty with me if i feel like adding that well like put it in the card i will if i feel like it foundation is kind of weird it's okay i think i don't know and plus i'm not expecting this to be like a successful thing like oh if this turns out to be a fail, that would be even better because it would be funnier. But I still want to look good. <laughs> but probably after I put on powder, it'll look fine. So now I'm going to go in with the Hard Candy Glamouflage Heavy Duty Concealer. And it comes with a pencil. I remember when everybody used to love this. Like back then, this was like the LA Girl Pro Concealer. Of that time how do I open this though uh, am I supposed to open it from this side or this is hard ow ah. here's a concealer and here's the pencil I don't know what I would use a pencil for I guess for tiny blemishes but I feel like this would irritate the skin now I'm just gonna go ahead and open up the concealer let me shake it up warm it up a little bit it's been sitting up in there for a while so we got to warm it it feels like i'm trying to push medicine through a needle whoa this is very yellow it is smoother than i thought it was gonna be i thought this was gonna be thicker but it's very yellow uh i was gonna use it as a face concealer but I'm going to have to use it as an under eye concealer. Yeah, there's another concealer I want to try. But you know what? We just go do what we got to do. Where are my makeup wipes? So I already put on my face concealer. I just used the LA Girl Pro Concealer. I didn't want to show that because, like, uh, it's not really uh, something new. How do I do this? Do I put this on my finger or do I put this on a brush? Yeah, I'll put it on the back of my hand and then use a brush. I don't know what I should talk about. I think I had, like, some kind of a weird question in my head. And then I forgot what it was, like, as soon as I turn on the camera. Oh, that is very, very yellow. 
what the heck? So I guess I have some exciting news for y'all. I am going to be doing a whole bunch more collabs. Um, not necessarily too much on this channel, but definitely on my main channel. I'm going to be doing collabs. I say a whole bunch, it's really not a lot, but usually the only people I collab with is my best friend Fancy and Tasha kind of. But, I mean, hey, you'll be seeing more people on my channel. And I hope it turns out good. Because I definitely want to keep these uploads up. I feel, like, very proud of myself for doing a lot more uploads um, now that I've been doing in the past. And I know I've been taking, like, just a lot of random breaks i guess mostly during the summer oh i do that a lot because it's just so hot actually when i first started my actually when i first started my channel and i think my main channel uh i started in the summer it will be so cool if i get to like a high level of youtube and then i'll make like a little montage of you know where I started because you have to start somewhere no matter where you are in life and what you want to do you have to start somewhere I could see there wasn't that bad yeah it actually wasn't that bad color wise because I thought it was gonna be like super yellow I mean it may look a little bit more yellow than I'm used to it is showing it's not really covering too much of my dark circles why is it called dark circles when it's like not even a circle it's like half of a circle and why do they say circles it's only one is that just me i don't know what was i gonna do next oh yeah i was gonna go set it with powder next okay so i'm gonna go ahead and let the concealer set i'm just baking it with my derma blend powder if you haven't seen that video you just look at that video i'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows and then i will come back with the rest of the products because my eyebrows are same old same old that you see in every uh makeup tutorial video that i do so yeah so be back okay so i did my eyebrows they look wonky i need to get them threaded well waxed or threaded i don't care i just need to get them done and i dusted off the um Derma blend powder with the L'Oreal mm, mm, oh, mm, okay with the L'Oreal infallible pro matte powder this is in the shade what is it 600 golden beige I'm not a beige what is wrong with these people jeez how do I open this bottom part oh wait oh oh it comes with a mirror at the bottom and a sponge I don't know that was a mirror I'm telling you right now I'm not the hugest fan of this concealer I think it's just too yellow for me i feel like this might work better in the winter i don't know there's something weird about it i'm not the hugest fan of it so what i'm about to do next i think is playing some eyeshadow so these eyeshadow palettes are from hard candy this is the hard candy pro look smoky eyes palette which is basically what it says it has a whole bunch of smoky shades in here and then the one I'm super excited to try is the Hard Candy Look, did I say Pro Look in that? Whatever. Look Pro Metal Eyes, which has all these metallic -y shades. And then you could um, use this liquid thingy mabob to make them, use them wet or something. I don't know. We're going to play in this one first. So if we could just eh, get it open. Eh, 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 eh. I'm going to use both palettes um, because obviously this one doesn't have any matte shades to, you know, do what it do. Whoa! I kind of want to mess with these, like, dry and see how... Oh, okay. So when they are dry, they don't have that much... Oh, wow, that one's actually pretty. It doesn't have that much crazy color payoff when they are dry. You probably can't see that. I don't know why I tried. But when they're wet, it's probably going to have so much color payoff. So how do I get this brush out for one? It doesn't say like how much mixing liquid to like put in. I, I don't know. So I'm just going to just, we just go, we just going to test stuff out. We just going to see. It's like a little dropper, a little drop, drop. Ugh. Some of it spilled on me. It's okay. One, two. 
three. Okay, I'm only doing three. I really wanted to go in that gold shade, to be honest, because you know, you can never, ever go wrong with gold. So I'm just going to go ahead and dip this brush into the gold. Is that how I'm supposed to do it? Is this how I'm supposed to do it? Okay. And now I'm going to go ahead and mix it. Uh, I think I might have done this wrong. Ooh, I did this wrong. Hold on. I put too much liquid in here. We gonna try this again. Hold on. We're gonna do one drop. What? Okay. Was I just supposed to wet the brush and then... I don't know, but we got it on there. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on my eyeball. Ooh. Okay, well, whatever I did, I think it worked. This is a nice gold. Ooh, it's pretty. And what if it's smart if I put a transition shade first? Too late. You know what? We're just playing in makeup today. I think it was kind of cute. Kind of. We're not done. I was like super excited to use this. I mean, I'm, I still am super excited, but this is kind of, it's kind of weird. So, how was your day? Was it good? Was it really good? I hope your day was good. My day was okay. I woke up at 6 a.m. And I did that on purpose. Well, okay, yeah, well I put on my alarm. So yeah, that was on purpose. I'm trying to like wake up earlier so that I have more time to do stuff. But the problem is I'm not like a morning person. Uh, I'm very much a night person and a lot of my ideas happen well they come about at night so I feel like I'm more creative then but during the day like if I get up early enough I have more time to like do stuff but at the same time I hate doing stuff like just I just hate doing stuff Period. You have any special projects going on in your life? That's cool if you do. If you don't, that's also cool. You don't have to always be constantly doing something. I mean, you could take a break from your life because we could all use a break from the hustle and bustle of every day. Ooh, that'd be a nice transitioning color. I feel like whenever Jackie Ina does these kind of videos, she always has something to say. It's always worthwhile watching. I just never have anything important to say. But hopefully one, oh, okay. Hopefully one day I will. Okay, for one, why do makeup companies still put these kind of brushes in? Okay, no, I see why. It's because like some people just don't have the money for like actual brushes. So they put these sponge brushes in here which is perfectly fine, but for most of us, we hate these sponge brushes because they get in the way and they just don't do what you need them to do, but sometimes they do. I think I've seen some like makeup artists use these sponge brushes, but I'm just like, girl, what is you doing? Like, why are you using that sponge brush? Like, you have money to, yeah, I should have put on a transitioning shade first. Um, I bet a whole bunch of people probably yell at the screen like you should have put on a transitioning shade first before you put on uh, this gold but you know what we are playing today I'm having fun and I'm learning okay and plus I can always go back in and fix it it's not like the end of the world I do have another hard candy palette on um, the first one that my best friend bought me the reason why I went back to Walmart and got a whole bunch of hard candy items um, and it's like, it's the neutral eye or natural, is it neutral? Whatever, it's the one in the gold container, that's the one. Um, and when I got it for a while, that was like the main eyeshadow palette that I was using because it was just simple everyday color shadows that I could use and it was perfect. Nothing wrong with it now, I just don't 
use that one as much because I've been using my project pan items which I have not filmed another project pan update in such a long time it was already dumb enough that I started project pan late now I just only put up what one update and I don't even know like how should I go about with this next update because I don't really 100% remember what the hell happened the last time I think the only thing I remember happening the last time is that I got four products like done but those products were already almost empty when I first started which I said that in my project pan uh, my first project pan video anyways I was already almost done but I should really go back into doing that just like I'm going back into my color of the year series which I'm very excited to continue so far I only have three videos up um, I have how many looks already planned out maybe three already planned out Zoe can you stop stepping all over my stuff and then I still have a few more looks to plan out but I just don't have all of the uh, I guess shadows not really shadows there's just some makeup items that I'm going to need and I'm glad I'm actually uh, playing with this palette because this is actually one of the palettes that I do want to use for one of the makeup looks. I just need to obviously plan that out, but I just wanted to see how this would perform. You ever get discouraged whenever you're doing something you're very passionate about or that you just really enjoy because it's not really getting the reaction or like the results that you hoped for i'm not talking with like just youtube but in my case i'm talking about youtube um talking about just anything in general like let's say you're writing a story and then you have people read it but they're just not giving you the reaction that you that you hoped for i guess so you get kind of discouraged and you just don't continue to write the story anymore. So right now in my case with YouTube, it's like kind of discouraging that like no one is watching my project, not my project pan videos, my um, color of the year series because I'm putting in like quite a bit of work in them. Like I plan out the, um, I plan out the looks in my face chart book, which I don't, oh, it's over there. I don't feel like getting it. In my face chart book and then I plan out the actual look on my face later and then after that I film it and filming takes it really just depends on the look uh, it takes hours at least an hour I'm gonna say that it takes at least an hour to film it and then it takes me like seven hours to edit even though it looks like there's not a lot of editing going on in that video but uh there there is and then i make like the thumbnail and i make the little promo for like facebook and yeah i get like zero reactions from it which kind of sucks but i'm okay with it this is something that I enjoy doing. I messed that up so bad. And like the color of the year series is something that I want to do like every year. Which is... I mean, it would have been a easier feat to be able to accomplish this year if I just did not stop making videos. Because I made the first one in January, I believe. And then, like, I just didn't even, like, want to do the rest of them. Um, and the only reason why I made that one in January uh, is because I actually did that look for the first time um, in December of last year. And I was like, well, might as well film this one first because I already had this one done. I already know what it looks like. I just have to recreate it. Even though I used the wrong highlight in the video, which is fine. If you watch the video and you want to recreate that look, I'm just let you know right now. 
whatever the highlight I use in there, don't use that one. Use a gold highlight, like Gold Deposit by MAC or something. Something gold. I don't think I used a gold in that video. And if I did, please dis disregard whatever I just said. Because I don't know what I'm saying right now. I put the gold like all over my lid. And then I put this one kind of like the half of my eye. I don't know. And then I'm putting this one uh, on my lower lash line. You probably can't even see it anyways. But you know what? I'm doing it. I'm telling you. And I'm doing it. Did y'all know that YouTubers don't get paid to go to VidCon? I mean, they get... I guess their stuff paid for like free badges and like their hotels paid for and what else you know we get to talk on panels and stuff but they don't get paid to go to VidCon which is interesting it kind of sucks and I'm talking about like the big YouTubers not like uh the ones that are invited to go basically but if you see any other youtuber that you know that wasn't invited then obviously they paid for their stuff did somebody message me what was that oh, someone did message me I'm doing a cool makeup look for halloween too if anyone cares i haven't started working on it which is i mean not necessarily a problem but it could be a problem if i don't hurry up and start working on it because that video uh, I want it to be kind of I was gonna say bougie we're gonna do something weird with this actually I'm gonna try to like low-key wing this out let's see what happens but it's gonna be from a from a series I'm not gonna say what series but it's gonna be from a series um, that people have seen before so, you know, oh, this is kind of cool. I mean, you can't really see it, but I mean, so basically right now I'm trying to um, wing out the bottom shade. Um, just trying to wing it out just a little bit because I can and because I want to. Yeah. Okay, so I'm not completely done with the eye look. I'm going to go ahead and put on a liquid liner. I'm trying to wing it out just to like bring out this actual wing which you can't really see but I think it will look cool kind of I guess the black so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I'll be back I have put on my liner and mascara I didn't want to show the mascara because it's not new um I do have new mascaras but I just have this weird thing about opening too many mascaras and I just have too many already open so why do that so I'm not going to highlight right now, um, I'm going to do that after I finish my face. So I have these two Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palettes. Uh, this one is in 749A Dolce de Leche and this one is in 750A Caramel Toffee. So I'm going to use these to obviously contour, but this one is a little bit more ashy and this one's a little bit more warm. So I kind of want to use both if I can do that correctly. Mm, I don't know. We're going to see. Because um, I know usually you would use like an at like an ashier contour kind of for the um like outer part to get I guess a little bit more of a structure and then warmer to like I guess warm it up yo I don't know I really don't claim to be like a makeup guru only one person always calls me her guru which I am not a, oh this is the wrong way I am nowhere near close to a guru but whatever is this working oh okay Oh wow, it is working. Okay, so I just use Dose de Leche. I actually didn't have to use a lot. It is an ashy contour, but I feel like if you do work this with a warmer contour, you should be okay. So has anyone ever tried the um, Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette? Um, cause I was gonna try that, 
until like I saw videos and I saw like how ashy they kind of looked and then when I did a fashion show a makeup artist did my makeup and she used that palette and I was surprised because the the shadows actually showed up on my face I'm like oh okay that's interesting but like I think if you were darker than me they wouldn't really show up or they would definitely show up very gray I don't know why I just put that on top of my forehead now I have to put it on the other side to even it out I was gonna use a warmer one kind of on my forehead area but hey we're just playing around so now I'm gonna go in with caramel toffee just to liven things up I do like that this is a lot warmer I don't know about y'all I feel like that does something it probably didn't also, I'm probably doing a horrible job of contour right now. I just realized that. But once again, who cares? We're playing with makeup. And plus, I'm literally not going anywhere today. Am I? What is today? Today is Monday. No, I'm not. I'm going to stay in and just edit like crazy. And plan out videos because it is the holiday. Well, the holiday season is coming up. So it's okay. Look, I really messed up on that contour. Oop, like right here. I gotta fix that somehow. But the holiday season is coming up and I never really participated in holiday festivities, well, video-wise, and I really don't even participate normally um, in real life on holiday festivities. Even though I really do like the holidays, it's not really that like I do stuff on the holidays. It's the atmosphere that I really like. Um, Cause around Christmas time, I feel like everyone's kind of happier, even though I know some people do have a hard time around the holidays because of things that happened in the past. And that's 100% understandable. Um, but you can always make the holidays your own. And if you don't have anyone to be with on the holidays, you could say hi to me on my channel. I'll probably see you on the holidays. I don't know. I suck at trying to like make people feel better. I really do. Did I do my nose correctly? I don't even know. I'm going to take this fluffy blending brush and just, I guess, blend everything if I can. I don't know. This is the Pacifica um blush they're coconut blush so it's coconut infused blush it's 100 vegan and cruelty free <laughs> cruelty free i'm so dumb cruelty free the shades is beaming and tender hearted so i guess uh this is beaming and this is tender hearted obviously beaming is not gonna show up on my face this could probably show up when i'm like super pale oh my goodness that is very powdery um but i'm just gonna go tender hearted and we're just gonna see how that's gonna go the thing about this it doesn't smell like coconut if you know me you know that i do not like the scent of coconut i don't like the taste of coconut it's ugh. i remember the first time when i was little when i had like a coconut candy it was either candy or i straight up had coconut shavings in my second grade class and i ate it what was it i think it was shaving and i hated it so much it was absolutely disgusting i hate the taste the smell and the texture especially if it's shaving but i've always loved those girl scout cookies the samoas always loved them always never realized those were coconut shavings but I know that now and that's probably the only way I would eat coconut or anything that has coconut in it if it's in those cookies maybe in those um crumb cake donuts because I know those have like coconut shavings in it I hate coconut water I'd rather take um multiple shots of Hennessy than to drink one small cup of coconut water Yes, I said Hennessy. I'm 21. I could say that. So this is tender hearted. I don't know if you could see it. I feel like I might have went slightly heavy handed. I feel like there's a slight glow to it, which is kind of nice. So it kind of acts as like your highlighter and the blush in a way. I feel like this would be definitely a good blush if you're like in a rush or you just don't want to be messed with too many products. 
go ahead and get the Specifica thing right here. And also there's a mirror on the back, which is really nice. So the next product we're going to use is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Illuminating Palette. My best friend has this and whenever she puts on makeup, 9 times out of 10, whenever she wears makeup, it's usually just foundation, highlight, maybe mascara, and sometimes lipstick. But sometimes she just wears highlight and that's it. And I get so jealous because like she be looking better than me like excuse me I'm the one that started you on makeup how you gonna look better than me how how you being disrespectful so I'm gonna go ahead and highlight my face and also my eyeballs to also help fix the messed up eyeshadow job that I did which let's not lie it's messed up so I'm going to be how <laughs> my finger so I'm going to be using the I believe this is gold this is the gold right here which one's the gold okay well this one's a little bit more bronzy so I'm just gonna use a bronzy e gold e e one basically whatever is closest to gold that's what I'm going to use so I'm starting off with this fan brush do people still use fan brushes I don't I'm not a huge fan of fan brushes for highlight but maybe today is the day that I'm proven wrong I almost dropped my mirror on the highlight that would have been disaster i would have cried on camera i would have cried and y'all would have um seen it okay where do i go with this wait, are these high are these pink highlights <gasps> oh wait they're kind of highlighty i thought these were blushes oh my gosh we're just learning so much today it's a great monday when you learn speaking of learning i feel so sorry for everybody that's in school right now I know school is hard, boring, and also with like social stuff that happens in school. I'll give you a tip. Kids, don't worry about all those people in school, all those popular people, because later on in life, they aren't going to matter. You won't hear for them from them at all, to be honest. I kid you not, there was this one girl. Um, in my high school she was popular or whatever and literally two weeks after graduation I forgot her name like those people just really don't matter unless they are going to do something with their life and also your success isn't measured by your popularity I mean like it is a certain degree especially in whatever feel that you're trying to be successful in but nine times out of ten your popularity in school does not depict your future it doesn't what really depicts your future is your hard work not only in school but out of school so if you want to do something that okay usually doing anything is not school related but if you have something that you're really passionate about just do it don't worry about what anyone else is going to say don't seek approval from people who won't matter in your life later on don't try to do things to impress people that once again won't matter just worry about yourself and the people that you care about the people that are close to you and make sure you treat them right because they could end up leaving you later on in life and i'm talking about all types of relationships like uh if it's like a love relationship or like best friends family you know take care of them but also don't forget to worry about yourself i don't really like this highlight too much for my eye okay so i try adding the paler highlight well like this um kind of pale gold highlight in the inner corners to brighten it up a little bit yeah i don't really like it so i like this highlight palette but for the face not for the eyes i feel like i need something i don't know more dramatic for the eyes in a way even though this may look just enough 
probably somebody like you don't really need all that highlight Sarah just stop just stop okay what else is there to do I have to do lips and I have a plethora of lip choices I kind of want to go ahead and use this lip liner with this lipstick because it's kind of the same but I also want to do another hard candy product I kind of want to try one of these velvet mousse matte lip colors so I guess I'm gonna go with snapdragon I freaking love these packaging package the packaging of these hard candy you really were a one on these I'm not the hugest fan of the tin packaging for the eyeshadows but for these lip colors I'm a huge fan I also have their wet ever ones I only have two of them I would love to get more but every time I go they're like out of the whatever thingamabobs so this is kind of a brown I feel like this would go kind of good with this look uh, I feel like I wish I would have done a better job with the eye look oh this is like a chocolatey brown nice it's not as deep as ColourPop Limbo which I love that one so much but sometimes I don't want as deep of a brown and it's, this one is not as brown as uh what's the other one the NYX suede liquid one in downtown beauty because I have that one too because that one's kind of deep as well but this one looks like you have a melted chocolate bar on your lips this really oh this is so nice okay so this is the finished look this was not a tutorial so uh i really do like this lip color it does look like you have like a melted chocolate bar on your lips um like i said it's not as deep as limbo is limbo the brown one yeah it's not as deep as limbo and it's not as deep as downtown beauty so i really like this this is snapdragon where'd it go it's somewhere in here but it's called snapdragon so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed that video i hope it wasn't boring uh i hope to do more of these videos like this because it was kind of cool to like <clears throat> sit down and talk to y'all oh one thing i want to say whoever is like um transitioning from relaxed hair to natural hair are you also dealing with like your relax and starting to curl up which I think it's very cool but at the same time very annoying because no matter what I'm gonna have to cut like all of this hair off hopefully in the future none of this hair that you see will exist but oh yeah these are like my roots um if you can see it that's like curling up which is really cool where's that really curly piece there's one piece that's like like almost super curly I don't know so I hope you guys liked that video if you did please give it a thumbs up also comment down below if you have used any of these products and if you want like a more in-depth video on some of these products right here um, I will be doing like I said a makeup look part of my um, color of the year series using this palette right here but I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do yet because I'm not 100% well versed in these colors. Well, in this product. But, you know, I'll figure something out. If you haven't subscribed already, please do because we're trying to get this channel up to 500 subscribers by the end of the year. And I think it would be pretty cool if we could make that happen. Okay, I'm going to go and y'all going to see this hair, face, and this shirt in more video because I'm about to just record videos right now so sorry if you hate it okay bye